I'm Speka, I'm the creator of Decus Controller Support, and I'm making another video that's updated, hopefully with a better recording software that I'm trying for free. So these videos will only be 10 minutes long, so I'm going to make a link in the description to show you the different sections of the video. I first just wanted to go through and show you guys the new updated controller support, because it's been a while since I made a video. The last one was 1.2, so it's a little old. So I want to show you guys the new layout. Uh, this focus, um, I really like this picture, so I use that um, for 1.5. It's Cyclops. So since I use Cyclops, and the whole point of this new update was to focus on more ranged characters and characters that actually needed targeting to actually use their powers. Uh, the videos before and the other controller supports that I made in the past were more from just like the melee. You know, it didn't really need to be accurate. You know, Wolverine, Nightcrawler, just you know the button hit the guy. Um, this controller support also works with all these listed here, so the PS3, uh, Logitech, PS4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One controller. Um, the next update with 1.6 will be with the Steam controller. Um, also in the news uh, for Marvel Heroes in 1.6, controller support is actually um, supported and it's developed by the actual company at Gazillion. And let's see how close it is to mine. Um, but um, if not, if it, it's a lot different and you still like this control support, then you can use this because I still will be updating it because of users and my forums uh, keep me motivated to. But I just want to show you guys um, what this is about. So the old controller support was similar to the way this is laid out. Um, and here it's a little bit different. Uh, they still got your power sets 1 and 2 when you click the trigger buttons. You hear the vacuum as your L1. Um, there's this new thing called menu mode, which I'll go through. There's actually um, the settings on the controllers actually switch the different layouts. As you can see here, there's the default layout, which is your normal, you know, uh, when you're actually playing the game, you're fighting, blah, blah, blah. Um, this new mode called Pew Pew. Uh, I named this mode for more ranged characters like Cyclops and Cable and all that. Um, as you can see here, um, it looks very similar to this one up here because it actually is. It's the tweaking between the sensitivity options and the buttons that make the difference. Um, there's almost like a turbo feature on some of the buttons with uh, the pew pew mode on. So like with Cyclops' mode, when you're using the one ability, when you know you have to have a target and you're firing the attack, and if you actually click it, it does more damage than if you were to hold it down. That's what this mode is for. So Overall, the layouts are similar. If you look at the default mode, though, when you click up on the D-pad, it actually switches the pew-pew mode. And then if you click up on this, it brings you back to the default. Uh, same with here. If you click down, it brings you to A module, which A module is created for characters like Doctor Strange and um, you know, all the other characters that have like a specific targeting system where it's really difficult with the controller, but I slowed the joysticks down. I also made the ability so the character is locked in place when they're using it so you're not moving around. Um, and it's nice because you can really just switch back to default mode by clicking down. So it's, it's pretty sweet. Um, also, just if you're looking at here, the hero roster is to the right. Um, power menus to the left. So you can still access some of the menu modes in the default settings. Um, if you keep looking, if I keep looking at the bright side of the screen, so I have a little timer going to let me know to stop the video so I can get to the next one. Um, if you looked right here, menu mode is access accessible on all of the different layouts. If you look, see R1, R1, R1. And what's cool about menu mode is actually it fixes the whole working around the UI. Since in the game there is no official UI yet, so it's still meant for a mouse, this actually turns your entire controller into a mouse. So you don't have to worry about um, you know, moving and missing something. You can just literally click the button, switch everything. So square is now left click, O is right click, X is vacuum. Um, menu and inventory are still the same as the other ones. Now this changes your D-pad so it can summon your friends list. Um, if you go to the right, you can summon a team up. If you click it again, you can send it back. And down is body slide. And then also, um, these are left and right click just to emulate like a mouse. 
and then that menu actually sticks. Same with all these menus. You actually click that button, it'll switch to this layout. I'll show you in the next video what I actually mean when you set it up. Uh, I updated most of the forms. I have to fix this picture right there. Um, go through here. This just shows you about the different key bindings. If you haven't seen it in my other videos, you have to make sure that the key bindings in the game itself match the key bindings you use in XPatter because if they don't, then it's not going to work properly and you're going to get frustrated. So just go through here, take a quick look just to make sure everything's right. This joysticks, um, this is going through and showing you exactly how to lay it out. I'll show you that as well in this video. Um, and just goes through and it talks about the d-pad now the game buttons this shows you how the layout looks in the game I prefer it like this because when you use the trigger buttons it actually will switch this out to a whole new set so you can have like this is the default you hold down you know, R2 it switches it to your third layout so it's hold L2 it switches it to your second layout and etc and that's what this shows you, you know this is the default you hold the one button it switches your powers the other button switches your power so you're not having to you know click all the time sometimes I like to actually put powers in like slots that are empty here like cooldown power so I know when I can click it again so like for example Nightcrawler's ultimate I can put it in this slot on every single one so when I you know switch to that one I can see when it's about to come back so I can switch back and use it and then go back which is nice to use but I don't want to put it in here because it's a little bit too confusing and this goes through the trigger buttons um, and this talks about like the power set payouts for Pew Pew. This is you know the heroes that I feel will benefit from this layout. You know more of the ranged characters. I mean some have both. So uh, and then for the A module, these are the characters that will benefit from it just because they have like select targeting. Um, I forgot especially about Star Lord because most of his powers you know are summons from a ship. So you have to be really precise for your targeting. You can't just like fire wherever. And this is the original default layout. This is what who it was meant for. So if you were any of these characters, you were having a hard time. Or if you were one of these characters with a different build than a melee build, then um, these new modes shall benefit you. Um, here's the menu mode. It just talks about it, what I just went through. And here's the YouTube video that I'm creating. So just stick with me. And in the next uh, segment, I will be talking about how to set up X Pattern if you haven't set up for the first time. I'll go through and show you actually in-game footage. Do -do 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 -do.